I'm Paul. I'm here, here with another Begging Board Bite. This time I'm reviewing Legion of Superheroes. Now I've already reviewed Legion Lost. You can check it out over on our YouTube channel, which you're hopefully already at. Uh, where I was confused by each and every character in Legion Lost, I did not have the same problem. It's a simple thing. Uh, you just give me these little word balloons here that say, Chameleon Boy, Homeworld, what his superpower is, and I can follow along. I don't think it's all that difficult. And I think that might be part of the reason why I enjoyed this book a little bit better. It's being written by Paul Lovitz, uh, a longtime DCU writer, and I also think, wasn't he the guy that started it all with the Legion of Superheroes? Yes, he was. It was it, it's an, it was, it's an interactive, Paul. That's what the camera does. It was it was a rhetorical camera guy. <laughs> and art being done by Francis Porte uh, Portella. And I enjoy the art. It's the standard this classic superhero fair, you know, bold lines, dynamic poses on after page. Um, nothing, you know, wonderful or great. Just, you know, your standard... B plus, you know, C plus kind of superior art. Um, this is a tale of two new characters come, uh, going out on their first mission. I kind of wish the story focused more on those two new characters and how they became Legion of Superheroes. Heck, what the heck Legion of Superheroes actually is. Oh, and also, you know, make it more of a number one because you are kind of thrown into it as if you're a long-time Legion uh, reader, which I know there are a lot of you out there, even though you don't really buy this book, because the numbers never prove that there's long-time Legion fans out there. And I would have liked a better jumping on point. This is definitely being tied into Legion Lost, where there are you know little uh, editor's notes saying, hey, if you want to know why he's so sad, check out Legion Lost, and then you'll know that maybe his wife isn't completely dead, but actually in the past, which is our now, which is actually five years after Action Comics starts, and sometime after the first lead, uh, Justice League issue. Where's that timeline, DC? Because is this the 31st century, 30th century? I don't know anymore, because it always used to be the Legion was in the 30th century, then for a while it was the 31st century. Um, so it's the future of the present, which is not the present. I'm confused. Just there alone, I'm confused. And um, we get into basically three different groups of the Legion here, uh, all hanging out, but not hanging out together. You got the Brainiac, who's not a villain, he's a good guy, hanging out with, uh, I'm forgetting who, it was one of the Daxum, uh, Daxumites characters, and they're talking, and then you got Starman, and Dream Girl, and two other Legion people that I don't really know of, uh, are then talking, and then you got these people actually out on the mission, Chameleon Boy, Ultra Boy, um, the new Dragon Girl, who's new to the team, and this other guy that's new to the team. Uh, I kind of wish it was the first day on the job, kind of being overwhelmed, and you're kind of following them along. You know, give me Scrubs, the great comedy series, for just uh, Legion of Superheroes, and I probably would have been much happier. I did overall enjoy this book, even though I felt like I was definitely drowning in the weight of the whole Legion of Superheroes epoch that has been happening. Uh, I was just more excited for a number one for it, and I definitely feel like this is still a number 200 something. Um, if you feel the same way, please send me an email, contact at beggingboardcast.com. If you're one of those longtime Legion fans and you're like, hell no, please don't start this over, you know, do the same. Or comment down below, or, uh, you know, send us a the wall Facebook thingy over at Facebook.com. That's three different ways, three different teams, all here in Legion of Superheroes. I'm out.